<laughs> hey, ladies. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm muting really quick before I get busted for the echo. <laughs> I'm waiting to see if I muted. <laughs> oh my gosh i got that just in the nick of time how's that for an entrance <laughs> oh my gosh my desk is clear shut the front door <laughs> see it's not even up on mine yet see the ipad is so slow there it is see i told you they'd be able to see you so let's see who's here um lauren is here linda's here donna's here laurel is here jennifer's here Louise, how is everybody? Paul is here, Lauren is here. What are you guys up to? Hello, everybody. Right, and Merry Christmas. Yippee. Merry Christmas. Who's ready? Who's all Hello. ready for Christmas? Bonjour, Louise. Hello, Tom. <laughs> hey, Linda, hey, Fowler. Good morning. Hey, Leslie. Tamar. What up? What up, Edge? Angela, I wrote you back. Oh, hey, the YouTube says we're on. I just got the I, notice. I haven't gotten a notification yet. What's up? <laughs> my computer far away. I can't see, like, chat very like I usually can. Right? It's weird, right? When you get used to it a certain way. Yeah, it's usually in front of my face. Well, it's not behind your face exactly, is it? No. Okay. As usual, I will take half a crap off my desk. So I brought Michelle over to the dark side. She's waxing tonight, you guys. Yeah, look what I get in the mail today for Christmas. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep, we're really here. Really here, Donna. <laughs> well, Linda's really gonna start here. cooking tomorrow. Hey River. Right? Hey Talise. <laughs> ah, pretty Christmas trees. Somebody's beaten Aunt, uh, Tammy to the punch with the emojis. We'll see, Fowler. We'll see. If I don't burn my crap dust down. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I keep telling her not to worry. Be fine. <laughs> I have Jaden on standby with four bottles of water. I said if I yell fire, oh, it's not real. real. She's such a worry ward. I tell you. I tell you. Not I'm a like, real. Do that. Just relax. Well, I have, I have, see, I, but I have a bar, or not a bar, I have a wooden, we call it tripod above my desk. It goes completely across. So it's where my camera, my light, I have another light that I use. It's a room. tea candle. It's a tea light for Pete's sake. It's not like you've got a bonfire going. <laughs> we'll see. Oh my gosh. We'll see. Please. And I'm doing the same old, same old, you guys. I am doing nothing exciting. Yeah, breaking out the syringes. Yep. I just have new molds, so I'm just playing with new molds. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> Some of your molds are cool. It's pretty, right? They're awesome. Then there's, and I'm going to do wings tonight too. You guys will see. We'll see if I get to all the new ones. You guys will get to see them all. It's kind of a thing. You guys are starting to figure out how I am, right? Once I start something, if I really like it, I'm kind of sort of all in. Mm -hmm. I think I just like this. But see, I think this and the wax seals for me, I think the reason I'm like, I don't want to say addicted to it, but the reason I'm enjoying it so much is there's just no end to what you can do. I just keep thinking of more and more things to do with them.
Oh, you guys remember the silicone mold stuff I showed you that I was going to make a mold for the embossing folders? That's going to be a little bit more of a project than I anticipated. So it's coming. I, I just realized because I was going to pour it today and I'm like, wait a minute, I got to have something as a blank. So like I've got the base that I'm going to pour the silicone into, but then it occurred to me I need like a blank of something a little bit thick that's going to be the same size as the embossing folder so that the embossing folder will sit down in this like re recessed space. So I hadn't really thought about that all the way through. So it's still coming. It's just going to be, I got to figure it all out, I guess. Yeah, you just kind of, yeah, this stuff is amazing. It's like equal parts. It's just the A and the B and equal parts. And the syringes work for me because it keeps me from mixing more than I can pour before it starts to solidify in the cup. Um, stir it till it's clear or 30 seconds and um, pour. It's kind of like no goof. This is like right up my alley. It's not like high science or anything, and it's not super fussy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Andrew's got, or Angela, I don't know where that name came from. You have a new nickname today. Um, I think she may, did you mean QVC? I always forget QVC does craft stuff. Do you know that there's a channel for that? I, is it the international one? Something creates. And yeah. I found it the other day at my dad's house. And I was like, wait, what? Yeah, I think we have it. a whole channel dedicated to them selling cool, cool stuff. Yeah, I've heard of it. I've never gone and seen it because I'm oh, afraid. Cool. I'm afraid. It's wicked cool. I wanted for about 30 minutes and wanted to buy like three things. And that they oh they were doing the new um I don't know it was like a pink cricket I guess it was the new cricket right I don't, I don't have a cricket so I don't know but it was something like that it was really cool interesting yeah it was really cool. Yeah, cough my fingers. Oh, let me look up my bed. Yeah, your turn. I'm pouring. Hello. 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 <laughs> Donna says, I do not need another venue to buy stuff. <laughs> it's a cool, I think it's called like, Something creates. It is. It's something creates yeah. creative something. I don't remember. Yeah. But it's like, and it like yeah, and it's like from the UK or something, right? And yeah, and they were selling stuff. And it was like, oh, it's just for convenient payments of $99.99. And I was just like, this is awesome. Right? Hey Sandy. Hey Sandy. Who else did we forget? I feel like there's a bunch of you in here that we didn't see. I, don't, I didn't. I just I just did a blanket. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh-oh, Jennifer's not feeling good. No. Oh, no. Not good. Not during Christmas. Right? Get it together, girly. Yup. But she hurt her back. I feel your pain because I'm still sitting very gingerly too, might I add. Like literally sitting very gingerly. From your broken butt? Yeah, my broken bum. Oi, ay, ay. Who knew? It's annoying. You know, these things take a while, but I'm like, come on now. I'm indestructible. I should be better by now. It's been like two weeks. I should be better by now. Tomorrow is two weeks. Is it really? Yeah. And it feels just, it's just as tender as two, as it was two weeks ago. 
which is like super annoying. It's like, okay, I know I'm not 20. I know I'm old. I know the healing process is slower, blah, blah, blah. But seriously, I got stuff to do. I don't got time for this. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Donna. Oh, she's got puppy. She's watching with nice. Hey, Victoria. Welcome. <laughs> Angela. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I did. You know what? Tomorrow I did see your email and I answered you out loud. I just didn't type an answer. <laughs> I, did you not get that verbal response, my dear? I did. <laughs> I hate it when I do that. Every once in a while, I catch myself. I'm like, I know I responded. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I responded in my out loud voice, not in my typing skills. And I know that's exactly what I did. It's exactly what I did. So you can be grumpy with me for a minute. Be mad tomorrow. Be mad. <laughs> it's okay. Let it out. Let's see here. Some of these are so pretty. So who else went and ordered some of the IOD stamps? I know Angela got some. Which ones did you get, Angela? I mean, there's like no bad ones. That's for sure. Oh, nice, Victoria. <laughs> Never grumpy at me. <laughs> you can be. It's okay. Yeah, deer steak. See, I like deer meat, but I don't like deer steak. That's I like so it. Um, I like it as sausage. True. Um, yeah, the Hubs really love likes it as um, jerky. Uh, and we used to grind a lot of it, like for like ground meat, like for meatloaf and spaghettis and like sloppy joes and things like that. I, I prefer it ground, but I'm not a huge meat eater anyway. So kind negative. of stands to reason. What? I said negative. Yeah. And shoot. Um, one of the, th I don't know, it used to always strike me as funny people that would, you know, hunt for deer and want the deer meat and then be like, and you can make it taste just like beef. Why must everything taste just like something else? Can't venison just be venison? <laughs> Does that not defeat the purpose or is it just me? Must just be you, Lang. Must be. I don't know. It just always struck me as odd. Or like other things that you don't like, you're supposed to make it taste like chicken. I'm like, what? Why? Can it just taste like it's supposed to? I should have hung this afterwards. Yep, made my first. Yep. Okay, let me take that off of there. What happened? I put it on too soon. Put what on too soon? My tag. Um. Rewrapping. It's a little bit of a process, but once you get it, you're like, oh, watch out. Yeah, I have, I got to get it all set up before I even turn my fire on because it's a bunch I want to do to this before I even put it. It's stamped. Hey, Sandra. Cerebral killer. I know you told your, told us your name before and I don't remember. Everybody here will attest. I'm the worst at names. Absolutely the worst. Never remember. Oh, my gloves. That's what I'm forgetting. Like, wait a minute. Don't forget the gloves. Well, see, I've already spilled silicone here and here. Well, not silicone, but the resin. And before you know it, I'll have no fingerprints again. Mm -hmm. Get your gloves. I'm getting them. Look, I'm getting them. They're coming. I'm going to try to wipe up what I already got on me.
Michael. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, Michael. Yeah, Laurel is Laurel is very focused over there. <laughs> that project. We can't talk about it out loud. It's a secret. It's a secret present. Secret project. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey Lorna, what have you been up to? Baking. She's I have done more on that project. You're still working on that thing. She is. Oh dear. Who's done that? Uh, how many of you have done holiday baking? Lorna Taylor, we know you've baked every kind of chocolate there is or created every kind of chocolate. I know my refrigerator can give me diabetes right now. <laughs> <laughs> I have done no holiday baking at all. Done and, holiday bakes. <laughs> and honestly, I'm like not, I don't, I'm not even regretful. How's that for weird? There she is. Hello, Miss Whitman. There she is. She's holiday baked. Yeah, she has. Mm-hmm. In my fridge right now. And oh, I'm, yeah. telling, I'm telling Patty, and Patty goes, You know, that stuff ships really well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to text her right now. <laughs> it was going for subtlety. Yes, Linda, I did. Thank you very much. I did get your card, and I have it sitting right here so that I wouldn't forget to thank you. So, yes, I should have said thank you the other night when we were on, and I totally forgot. Yes, so, ma'am. I texted John. I said, Patty wants diabetes too. Yeah. <laughs> She's a duly noted. Oh, my goodness. Add me to next year's list, please. I don't want, I don't want that. I don't want that. I'll get back on. I'm fiddling too much. You probably are. You'll get it. You'll get, you'll get in a rhythm. Well, this is for a project, so I'm taking kind of the my time. Say what? Mm -hmm. Secret, secret project. <laughs> secret. See, Lisa, that sounds like here. The kids are all starting to have significant others and trying to be two or three places on Christmas Day. And I'm like, look, let's just do it Saturday after. Let's just do the weekend after. Y'all go do what you need to do on Christmas Day. And then I will take you when you're all relaxed and just want to be hanging out and have fun. So we're doing our family Christmas on Saturday. Well, this so, is a terrible time for your oven to break, Linda. Uh-oh. Yep. So this is do no bake cookies. Her oven broke. Uh-oh. That's no fun. Nope. At all. So don't be surprised if I pop on here Christmas night or something because I'm just going to, it's just going to be like any other day around here, Christmas day. So if I decide I'm bored and want to hang out with everybody, don't be surprised. I'll be gone. Uh -huh. And I'm not reading chat at the moment. I mean, neither of my face is down for a second. trying to fill in these ones. Some of some of these are like super easy to fill right up to the rim right away. Other ones take a minute to figure out how they settle. I feel like Yeah. Okay. Can somebody let me know? If she comes in, uh, so vintage create Sharon, please. 
scream or something. Yeah, if you guys could all top, top, top. Yeah, when she comes in, just for Michelle, everybody type in caps. She's here. <laughs> She's here. Oh, it's okay, Linda. I wanted to let you know that I did got it and say thank you. So it's all good, honey. Michelle's waxing. Mm -hmm. And her legs. She's doing wax seals. You guys want me to put it on her for a minute so you can see her? Oh, look at right. that giant bubble. That's the first time that's ever happened. That was cool. The Lang sent me waxes and a furnace and the coins. <clears throat> and right now I'm just doing um, an envelope. I've wrapped some really thin old vintage string around it. Put some cheesecloth down and cut a piece of this old doily up which I used some fabric tack on that. And then I want to pour it and seal over this with these strings hanging down. When I'm done adding everything I want to add. Oh, geez, you're on me, really? We are. <laughs> it's a mess. I, just, I, have have control of the, I, have con I have control of all the buttons. You are at my I mercy. I had full intentions of just reading chat. And she's like, no, you're doing it too. And I'm like, oh my gosh, do you know what my desk is covered with right now? It is covered with my next project. So everything is kind of pushed to the side. And it's working out just fine. Yep. Yep. See? Yep. I like it when I win. I quick got some things together. I could have actually use for this if it'll put that down there i don't know oh my gosh angela don't get her started again we can try <laughs> what she's gonna be fuzzy tonight sandy um jay's home and he's um he's online yeah so but if she gets um if she gets frustrated with it, don't forget you can go out and come back in and that usually clears it up for a little bit too. If you get frustrated, okay. Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I can't see anything I'm doing right now. I'm not sure how that would look if it was Ooh, that's cool right well, you guys, I know you can see it on StreamYard mm -hmm. it's, it's an old rusted earring nice that I hung from it I'm going to put my seal right there where the metal and the string meet and there's already cheesecloth down hey can you zo zo try zooming in once or twice that clears it up too remember <clears throat> I'm going to be all bossy pants. Okay. It's pretty. I want them to see it. It's pretty. I am zooming. Hold on. It is pulling up my camera. Might have a fight in my camera down to what I'm doing, too. <laughs> it's just a envelope that I embossed. You know how that your embossing folders are short and there's nothing ever on the other side? Yep. So I just tied the string underneath it and a string down the side, put cheesecloth in that, this cool old earring that's hanging off. And I'm going to put my seal right there. Nice. Yeah. Uh, the project I'm doing. I like it. Thank you. All right. Let's spark the fire. Wait, let's pick our co colors first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You said three pellets works good, right? Yeah, three. I mean, start with three. And I mean, because I feel like you'll discover the different 
seals or stamps or coins or whatever, you, whatever they are. Some of them, and sometimes you want a bigger puddle some because you want more, I don't know, just a bigger puddle. Um, Cause I like a bigger ridge on some of them than others. And it depends on what I'm doing with them. You know what I mean? So you'll just kind of figure that out as you go, what you like. Okay. I'm taking two of like the metallic copper colors. Ooh, those are pretty ones. And one of these, um, I don't know, like seafoam green. Yep. Yeah. That color. Cause I want a patina look. On. Yep. That's what I'm doing. Okay, Minge, we'll be here. <laughs> yeah, you're going to discover when you start playing with mixing the colors. Okay. Lighten the fire. Oh, my gosh. No. It's a little Sorry bit addictive when you start lighting, when you start mixing colors. There we go. She's cooking. She's cooking. She's cooking. Oh, that doesn't take very long. Nope. It's melting already yep hmm get my scooper out okay you can take it off me i'm just watching mac wax melt uh-uh we're gonna watch <laughs> here it is melting oh i need to pick which stamp I want on this. Um, this one was this one. I want it. this one. Oh, I picked the tree of life. On this. Ooh, there they go. They're melting. It's fun, right? Yep. I'm not going to stir it either because I don't want mud. Just going to leave it just like that. I don't stir them either. And you'll see what I mean. Like you think you're going to be made. It takes a long time to actually make mud. Because I kept thinking, oh, this is going to be such scary. an ugly mess. I'm just going to wonder. Yes, I know. It's my, my camera is terrible. Everybody, look, she is here. She is here. <laughs> Sharon, I wanted to tell you, this is Michelle speaking, um, that I watch your channel today for the very first time and yeah thank you everybody oh look here <laughs> do you think i was waiting for you sharon oh my goodness yes i see i see she's here um i watched your channel today for the first time and i watched your haul and i knew with the 300 old pages that it had you know something to do with patty and then you went further on with your aunt and your um things that you got and that court coach portfolio Amazing that glassing bags, not the envelopes, but the the bags that you got and everything from your aunt was just amazing. And I want you to know that I want to go to the pound shop with you every day. <laughs> every day. Like you got some great stuff. I have been I kind of binge watched you a little bit while I was um uh working on my project today and it was your and she has got oh my gosh the cutest little southern voice i just love <laughs> her voice too she's just adorable and it just if you guys are not sub to so vintage create she's talking right now yep i see she's here um, <laughs> i've been I, I told him i said when she gets here i need to shout her out she is it's just it's incredible it's she's adorable she's got some great ideas i i truly truly i don't watch youtube a lot you can ask anyone and i'm not really a youtube girl but i'm telling you i loved it i absolutely loved it and i want to go to your pound shop aka the good Women's, because that was awesome good go and sub yes it's awesome okay patty you can take it off of me because i'm too fuzzy okay okay thanks but it, the things from your aunt those those public cases every, oh it was just wonderful just absolutely wonderful and the old books that you found oh my gosh and from the green gables i was like oh my gosh and she's got just the nicest voice and uh it's just a pleasant channel 
and thank you. Because I, I, I really don't watch YouTube very much. And I was like, ah, I'm going to check this out. It was fun. I enjoyed your channel very much. All right. How do I scoop this out now, Lang? With the spoon? Duh. Well, just put your spoon in there and scoop it out. If, it, if you don't think it's going to be enough to scoop it out, then just drop a couple more in. I'm really not trying to be a smart aleck, but you don't, yeah. tip, you don't tip it. You don't do anything. And if you don't think it's enough, then drop a couple more in. Does that make sense? I put four. Yeah, I put four in and it's definitely not going to be yeah. enough. Yeah. But we'll try it. Yes. Okay. Oh, it might be enough. Because it oozes. It's good. Yeah, well, yeah it's exactly. Good. You're really welcome, Sharon. I'm telling you, I really, truly enjoyed it. And I'm, I, I look forward to, uh, she just put the video up that I watched today. And then one was further back with the, and with the Green Gables. And, you know, your tastes of uh, oh, that coach portfolio. I can't wait for you to do something with that. And I can't wait to see what you do with it. It's just, this is a very good channel. Like it. Very, very cool. I will you be do see watching. these, you do. I will be doing a little binge watching. <laughs> <laughs> get her, Lorna, get her. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was so surprised to even hear you talk, woman. Shoot, that's the first time I've ever heard you talk in a video. I was like, she speaks. That's all I could write underneath for my comment. Was she speaks? She said you never said I had a kid. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. All right, Lang, how long did I let this thing dry? Did you stamp it? Yeah. Um, I give it a I give it a minute or two. It you'll know when it's ready to release because it'll just let go. If you have to like wiggle it or try to get it to release, it's not ready yet. Nope, it just let go. See? Cool. Well, that's interesting. It worked, and it worked over the cheese cloth and the fabric. Now, I'm I'm gonna take that right now the wheels great. are spinning, right? Yep, I just like the string now. <clears throat> very, very cool. And I have my melties in my pot again. Yeah, already. Well, isn't that neat? I don't even want to put any luster on that because that looks pretty cool. I like it the way it is. Okay, good job. Moving on. Moving on. I'm going to work on this book cover that I'm going to put on my shelf. Okay, I just want to say these bees are kind of a pain in the neck to pour. Oh, you're, oh, you're resin pouring. <laughs> I just like that. Ooh, do that crown. I'm getting there. Nice. You like the crown. See this one I see I poured a double so it starts thickening up on me. Is that white part uh, it already drying? Yes. Well that's fast. Yeah, because I had it in the cup too long. So this bee I'm going to have to do a lot of sanding on and it doesn't have all of its legs or antennae so I'm going to have to come back and work on that one. This one I didn't get the little front legs which I'm not going to totally freak out about. But I'll have to do some sanding on this one, too, because I think it's already. Oh, Sharon, you're quite welcome. What up, John Carey? What's up from Luxembourg? <laughs> How you doing, girl? How you doing? Hey, Talise, how are you? Oops, stuck my finger right in at that time. Genius, I tell you, genius. This one's not cool. finger in it. Yeah. 
Stick your finger in it. If you're not sure, just stick your finger in it. Always, always works, it seems. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to behaving myself and just pouring, just mixing one at a time. Come on over here. Yeah, this one's going to be some pretty good. I'm going to do some serious filing on this. I think I said waxing. I'm going to have to sand it. I don't know what I said. There's the puppers. There they are. Somebody okay. came in the back door. They just can't make it a whole show without uh, participating. It's impossible. <laughs> hey, Carrie. <laughs> that was cute, Sharon. That was I know, cute. right? <laughs> she had some good hair. Oh. I'm you, though, I was, I was thoroughly, I don't, you guys know, I don't really, I'm not really on here too much. If I do, it's not junk journal related because I like to, I don't know, I get clouded. But I, it was a, it's a totally fun channel. And I was like, this is so cute. And she's adorable. Her voice is adorable. Totally adorable. Her little, her little red nails. She's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Good channel. Very good. I look forward to binge watching. I'll let you know next week how it went. Okay. Now, I put my second round in here, and I think the candle's too small because they haven't even melted like I'm touching them. Yep. So, for you, the candle. The flame, but you're using, a, is it a regular tea light candle or a small one? No, it's a small one. See, that's why. It came with a big one, right? It came with a big one, yeah. Yeah, you want so, the big one. The small one. Put that yeah. one out. Hopefully this remember when I was wax remember when I was waxing and I was getting perturbed because the the short little candles don't make enough heat for very yeah, long? They really yeah. don't. Exactly. Uh, now I have to find my heat. I way uh, overfilled the where are my Hold on. tweezers? Short small disaster. I have to clean this up. What did you do? Spill well, it? No, I just way, way, way overfilled. So I'm going to have to scrape some off. Ooh, now you're doing the brush and not the popsicle stick. Look at you. Yeah. Over, over there. Well, I had it. See, and now, see, I probably just totally messed that whole one up. Honestly, I should have just left it, but I don't like to sand them. It's annoying to sand them. Yeah, that one's just going in the trash. That one the, oil is huge. What? That a medallion piece in the middle is huge. Is that one of those dimensional flowers like you got before? Kind this? No, it's a like a Moroccan medallion. Mm. So now I just have to wait for that to cure everywhere. Yeah, this one I totally trash. That's going straight in the trash. Straight to the trash. Oh, I guess what your life. It just came up on my computer. Oh, hey, by the way, we're here, ladies. Ridiculous. Yeah, the giant boogers. Giant boogers. <laughs> she said, booger. Booger. Okay, this is still way too hot for me to touch, and I can't find. Oh, you know what? What? Oh, shut the front door. This. <gasps> This thing is ingenious. I wish I could turn it sideways, but my wax is still wet. Yep. The base of it spins up so it yes. goes closer. Shut yes. up. Okay, well, I can relight my candle then. This is too cool. Maybe, maybe not. Hold on. Let me 
push it all the way. Oh, it's this. It says neat. Do you know back in the old days, they had these candles that would spin up or spin down. And my mom had one and she called it a dating candle forever. And I was like, why do you call it a dating candle? She said, because if the father liked the guy that the daughter brought home, he would twist the candle up so it would burn longer because they were having good conversation. Or he would do it down. So the light would go out and they would have no light to talk over. Nice. Just a little history there. Look at that one, you guys. I love this. So pretty. I can't wait to paint that up. Okay, are you going to melt now? Can you see that on a piece of furniture or picture frames? Pretty. These. There's, there it is. Yep. No, nope, we're going to wait until it cools down for everyone. Oh, my word. Right? I wonder if I make you a mold. You know my secretary desk that I have, right? Yeah. Remember I showed you it was missing that one corner when you were here? Uh-huh. Yeah. Make me a mold. If I make you a mold of it, you can make, and then I can stain it. I can yep. stain resin, right? Yep. Nice. Because that's the only thing that's wrong with it is it's missing that one corner. These are what I'm super excited about. Those are gorgeous. These wow. are, yeah, I want to see how they come out soft because I've got an idea for these. So that's why I'm rushing these, you guys, because I want to, oh, look how bendy they are. Ha, ha, ha. Nice. Yeah, I'm watching. And this one I want to do for book plates. Wouldn't that be perfect as book plates? Nice. Okay, I need to spin this back down. And put a big mammer jammer in there. A big one. All right, let me get my wax Diamonds. out. Really? Okay, there's that. I like those. I'm making the mess. That's paper towels ripping. Sure it is. <laughs> it's your story. You tell it however you need to. And then these all three have the exact same design, just smaller. Obviously. Obviously, Patty. Obviously. Okay. Then we got the wings. I think they're done. Yep, there's wings. Okay, big candle. Where are you? There you are. All right, here we go. There's the little wings. Speed dial. And the lock. I'm going to flip it back over to you. I want to see what you Love doing. it. Um, I'm just, just relit my big tea candle. Okay. Because I'm, um, all I did was get this, I have this old book cover, and that's where I live. In and the it book was cover? In, huh? Yeah, in the book cover. Shut up. Um, it's what she it says, says, right, you guys? It's what she said. I'm pointing where it says Ashland, Ohio. I said that's where I live. Not in the book cover. Blah, it's blah. Six-page noiseless slates given with each pair of shoes at Jacob's Brothers Cash Shoe Store, Ashland, Ohio. That's where I live. And it's an old, yucky book cover. And I tied some string around the front here. Because all I want to do is just lean it against my wall. Um because my downstairs is like tapestry. So I like the color of the book and I don't want to use it for anything else. So I just put some string around the side and I'm laying down some cheesecloth and melting wax right there. Sorry, I don't have on my 
nails lady sorry and then I'm gonna put the coin in nice or the stamp whatever you want to call it and I just want to say Mr. Um, Miller she absolutely does need more molds and more resin you are absolutely correct Mr. Taylor is watching and he likes the resin and he said he thinks Lorna needs more more molds and she should get some resin. So I'm agreeing wholeheartedly. Yeah. Absolutely. Hurry, Louise, before he changes his mind. Lorna. I mean Lorna. There you go. See, she's thinking and talking at the same time. I feel like a six-year-old. I want to ask her something that I know the answer would always be no to because she's distracted and she'll say yes. And I'm drinking chai. And chai. These are really cool fibers from Louise. And I think I'm going to put one down that goes with this book. These fibers, Louise, they're you're going to be seeing <laughs> Okay. So I'm going to scoop it in my spoon. Pour it on my stuff. <laughs> the smell of the wax. Ooh, that big candle heats that puppy up now. Yes, it does. It's heated now. And every once in a while, you're going to, when you pour the wax, give it just a couple of seconds before you, like, as you keep adding to it, you know what I mean? And you've got, like, the melted residue in the bottom already. Um, mm -hmm. Because the hotter it gets, you want to let it cool just a minute before you put the stamp in it. Because you'll notice if you don't, you'll push all the way through the wax. Does that make sense? Yep. So I have it poured and it really oozed out, but I don't care because I think that's cool. I like when it oozes out. Do you see how the, you're still doing the mixed colors, right? Yeah, I'm doing the, the do you see how the, like, one. yeah, do you watch, like, do you see the color when you pour it and you're like, oh, it's going to be so pretty. And then when you push the seal into it, how it like rolls over top of itself and changes, you're like, Oh my, because then like everyone is a surprise. She said, you're like, oh my. It is though, but especially when you start playing around with like three colors, you're going to be, it's like a surprise when you lift it up because it's not what you expected. It's still pretty, but it's not what you kind of had in your head. Interesting. Now I'm going to do this little, so I can hang it off of. A book. Well, it looks like we're caravanning to Carrie's house for dinner. I'm. I want in, you guys. Somebody swing through Indiana. Oh, we're going to Luxembourg. I believe we are. Awesome. I'm gonna stamp on these uh, tags. You guys know what these? Things? I'm anxious to see that. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, one of them I already because the metals that I'm working with for this next book that I did uh -huh. that I'm doing is like a bronze color. So I already kind of bronze this up with my metallic luster. And now I just need to put stuff down on it. Okay. Now it's bubbling what's left over. Yes. Either okay. wipe it out and start over or add to it. You don't want it to bubble. It's way too hot. Okay. If you add to it, it'll start cooling it down or wipe it out with your paper towel and then do more. I am not sticking my hand in the hot wax. I just blew out my candle because I'm not ready for yet. So there it did. It did the tree of life on my book. Nice. How cool is that? It's fun, right? Yeah. The only thing I'm going to do with it is just like lean it up against the wall down there because I like it because it says Ashlyn. I'm just going to lean it up against the wall. Just, I think that's cool. just you wait. It's pretty cool. 
I'm waiting for the day when I call her and I'm like, so what have you been doing? And she's going to be like, oh my God, this wax. I have totally gone down the rabbit trail. I want to try sticking stuff in it besides, like I have these old numbers that I mm -hmm. use. And I want to try um, just sticking a number in. Yep. Go with number three. And then they're not very thick, so they don't, they're not very bulky in a journal. So I like that. I'm going to stick a number in it. I also I'm brought gonna, that chicken wire yeah. in it. Why? Yeah. When you start using it as a quote unquote glue of sorts, that's when it gets really fun because you just start running around looking for everything that you can layer and then put wax on to like kind of sort of glue everything together. Hmm. Ooh, maybe. Hold on. Ah, maybe, like, maybe instead of using the three on an envelope, I want it on the tag. Because <laughs> I'm going to put some of the Tim Holtz people on my envelope. <laughs> will that number fit right there? Oh, but it will. On the tag. Mm hmm. And the tag is kind of like warped, so I'm going to use it this way because I think it'll puddle better in the, on that side than it will on the other side. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Lisa, I think that's a great idea. Not changing my mind. Lisa's right. got some fan. She's going to use some fancy buttons for stamps, for seals, like the the wax, the seal part. You know what I mean? The mm -hmm. What are they? What are we gonna call them, you guys? I get tired of trying to figure it out. They're coins, seals, stamps. What the heck are they? I don't know, but that's not coming out of my pot. Hold on. No, because it's cold. That's why I said do it when it's hot. You're gonna use a paper towel. Because it the paper towel absorbs it. It's so not what to do all right i get what you're saying now lane yep all right i should have kept it hot told you gotcha messing it up already not messing it up what if i can put all this extra that i'm scraping out with the spoon at the moment that would be pretty chintzy though this i'm not gonna save wax all right. Okay. Okay. Got it? Got it. Cool. Word. Lighting flame again. Flame edge is lit. I want to do, since this is just a little circle, I want to do, let's do purple and, well, it's like a bronze color. Those are pretty together, by the way. I'm going to go with the red and gold. And then I'm going to put my three down in it. And then I'm going to, then I'll stamp on it. I know, right? Lorna, where is Nikki tonight? Okay. Woo, there my dish is hot now. Woo! I like yeah, wax seals. I think that's what we should go with seals. Um because I feel like I'm stumbling around all the time trying to figure out what to say. I wish your picture was I feel like if she zoomed in some, remember when she's when she's on other times, guys will have her zoom way in, how much clearer it is. I feel like if she clicked in some because it has less to try to focus on. Tell news because Jay's on the internet, y'all. That's part of it, but it'll it does have its moments. Because when we first came on, you were super super clear, but you had the red book on there and not lots of other stuff. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And now it's trying to figure out what to focus on. I think. Okay, I think I zoomed. It's so weird. It's not really zooming for us though. Hmm. 
Mm. So, That's all right. I wish it was clear to Lisa. Believe me, I do. It's frustrating. Especially when you get a new camera and computer. It's very frustrating. I would go live a lot more. I was just asked that question the other day. I would definitely go live a lot more. If I had a clearer picture. I just want to stir it. <laughs> Some like people right there and I'm like, melt, melt, melt. And it will. And it kind of stirs. Did you notice it kind of stirs when you scoop it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, that it does. So some people stir it with toothpicks and I was like, mm, I feel like if I do that, I'm going to get mud. So I always, well, always like I've been doing it for years. <clears throat> um, I've been just letting it mix itself when I scoop it. And then when you pour it out and when you stamp it, I feel like that's enough mixing for me, for what I want. The red is good to go. It's just this tablet and that. Oh, no, no, that one's ready too. But the good news is Michelle's expressive enough. I don't feel like we miss out on very much by her blurriness because she kind of fills in all the blanks verbally for us. <laughs> like this is not what you do. <laughs> <laughs> not what you do. Um, this is, Carrie, this is all Patty. <laughs> This is all baddie. <laughs> was it wasn't me. Oh my goodness. No, Carrie, no. The wax ceiling is so much fun. And with your style, you would come up with some really cool creative things. I have complete confidence. It don't, it's just wax. It's like just colored wax and you need to scoop it out, put it down and put your wax seals on it. And if you don't have wax seals, then do like Lisa's going to do and use buttons. I mean, look around at things you have that you can, you can even use your rubber stamps. It just leave. It's like an opposite um, effect. And one night we were on here when I first started waxing and the girls were all like, Ooh, put ink on your stamp. So I put ink on the stamp and I stamped it into the wax. And depending on the color of your wax, it leaves an image. But like the cool thing is you can use your, and I found that the, the older, or I think they're older because mine are older, but the ones with the wood back on them and then like the red rubber, if you stamp with those into the wax, I like the way those work the best. Um, then when it's cool and your stamp comes out, then ink your stamp and set it right back in. And you can't miss the image because it just like self aligns itself. Um, and then it leaves the ink in, especially the archival inks. Um, so we've played with it that way. The girls have given me a lot of ideas. Um, I love the button idea though. I think that's kind of sort of genius and it's yeah. making me think. I have a, a tin of buttons right next to me that I was going to try. All right. Look, it's just, it went absolutely, I can stick my finger in it. It's absolutely not even hot. It's because my heat heater is on and it's blowing my flame sideways so uh -huh. i'm gonna blow it out put it on you patty i'll be right back i have to go turn off my heat okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i demolded the one with this one i love this i think this is super pretty this looks like um old furniture molding to me and then the one that I kind of goofed up when it was starting to get boogery. And look at the difference in, the, like, can you get, there it is. This has a, like a glossy. So like when the, the resin starts setting up as you're pouring it and you're like rushing, but then it gets like these big, it's real, there it is. You can see it. It's real uneven on the back. So I'll have to sand that one down. But the crown came out really nice. I like the crown a lot. And then the bees, I still got to figure out, see where I still have, there, you guys can see. I got to figure out how I'm going to get resin in those skinny little legs. So I think I'm going to pop them out and just file off his little legs 
So this one's just going to be a body and wings. I'm going to file off the legs. And yeah, see, this one will be cute if I can get the legs poured too. I'm going to have to pour these first. Oop. So, but you got to be, because these are not going to be fun to try to clean up around those skinny little antennas and in between the legs. See where the resin is in between the legs and it shouldn't be. So I'm going to have to like, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I wonder, no, I don't want to do that. I was thinking maybe I could pull the mixed resin up in a syringe and use that fine tip to get it down in these skinny little legs. But that's going to be, that won't work because then it'll just ruin my syringe. So I don't know. I might have to just pour it first so I can get it in there. Hmm. I'll figure it out, though. One way or another, I will figure it out. So far, this big scrolly piece. And this are my favorites. Those are my favorites so far. We'll see. There's more to come, though. More to come. I'm going to pour at least one of each. I know. When it gets between your legs, I don't like it. Don't like it. It makes a mess. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me throw these popsicle sticks away. Did you get it figured out over there? Yeah, and I put the... I twisted it closer. Cool. Yeah, when she opened that one today, you guys, she was like, oh, this is different than yours. And I was like, yeah. The the Remember the brown wooden furnace I had when, when I first was melting the wax? I still like that one, but I... Um, then I saw the one like, um, I remember the one I had the silver one. The next time I waxed, I showed you guys the silver one. I like that one better because it's got a bigger bowl on it. So you can put more wax in it. So I could kind of just keep adding two or three um, wax beads at a time and just keep it at a, at a certain level and just kind of like, I don't know, not assembly line, but it's like I could scoop, pour the wax, stamp it and come back because then I would, as I was scooping it out, I'd have two or three in my other hand and drop them in. So then by the time I was ready to pour the next one, I already had more ready to go. It was kind of like I could just keep moving at a consistent pace. And I liked that. And then eventually you make mud and I just wipe it out with a paper towel and then just keep going. <laughs> we like having you here. Hey, Joe. <laughs> hey, Kathy. Oh, now you sound like me, Carrie. I do the same thing. I think I had a hit enter and I hit backspace or who knows. And I'm like, why is everybody ignoring me? So then I go look and it's still sitting there. I'm like, oh, that might be why. Okay, I push the three into it. We'll check it out. Nice. Yeah. Nice. She's warmed up now, puppies. Ha, ha, ha. Figured it out. Now get out of my spoon. Yeah, so I'm collecting, remember those label stamps I got when I got all those other, remember when I came on and I was all like, look at this stuff. So the label stamps are ready to go. I'm collecting containers that I want to um, put a base coat of paint on and then I want to get those stamps on them. Then um, when I go... Right before I go to Texas, I'm going to grab up a bunch of, like, um, I can't decide. What do you guys think? Should I do all herbs or should I look for, like, some small indoor semi-viney plants to put in them? Should I do herbs and indoors or should I do all herbs in them? What do we think?
and now I'm reading. <laughs> Wait, Kathy used, what did you use 50 years ago? What did I miss? Green, 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 green. Yeah, so Sharon, she uses a hot glue, right. So, it, all right, so listen to me, I'm getting excited. Hoot, 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 I can't even spit it out fast enough. Um, who, do any of you have um the the there's a heater it's like a melting pot for the glue gun wax sticks i've seen that and i want to know if it works number one and number two do you like the glue gun wax versus regular wax i got a lot of questions and can I use it to melt anything else? Like if I wanted to melt beeswax in it, could I do that? Is it like just a melting pot basically? Or is it not going to work for anything except the hot glue? I have no clue what you're talking about. If anybody has it, they'll know. I am no clue. Yeah, there's like a little melting pot that's made for the, because you know how you can get the, the wax for like a hot glue gun? Mm -hmm. Well, they make a heater and it's got this little like ring in it or this little holder that the glue stick goes in and mm -hmm. um, then it melts it down into like this reservoir. So I'm just super curious if I can use it like if I want it, it just looks like a, a melting pot like a super tiny little crock pot without a lid, basically. Um, and I want to know if I can melt other things in it besides hot glue. I don't know. Kathy has a glue skillet, right? For people who do lots of hot gluing, like the wreath makers and like, um, skillets, the electric skillets and stuff for a glue pot, which makes a really good sense. Um, I don't need anything that big. I like the the one that I'm looking at. It only looks like it's like yay big. It doesn't look super big. Stick to one theme. Um, Carrie, you'll discover I'm all over the place. I don't ever stick with. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met Patty? I like to try most everything once there's certain things i can watch somebody make it and i'm like yeah no if you'll just make that and i can buy it from you that'd be really good there's some things i don't ever want to make i don't want to try i i want to know all about how you do it but i have no interest in trying um and other things i can't wait to try it myself and i kind of don't have an in-between like jelly plating i I could sit here and watch somebody jelly plate literally all day. Um, I have zero interest in actually doing it myself. I just don't want to. Nope. I don't either. I think it's cool. Oh, I love it. And I, like I said, I can sit and watch somebody jelly plate literally all day. You definitely need a lot of napkins with this. Or paper towels. Yes. Yes, yes, you do. Okay, so this should, oh my gosh. She must be getting ready to take the dogs outside. There's a mad flurry of paws and fur down there. I don't know if you can hear them. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> All right, I'm switching. We're on you. <laughs> All I did was um, added, I inked up a die cut that I have of a leaf. I put cheesecloth down and then I had that leftover uh, string uh -huh. from where I wrapped that other envelope and I put these two ladies on it. Right. And I did a, a rose. And nice. it has green and red in it. Pretty. That's wicked. Cool. 
Like if I, I have like all my die cuts out, like about my whole box. She's getting into it now, you guys. Oh, and then here, the three just looks like a three just stuck on there, but I kind of like it because of this, what I'm working on. This yeah, one. and the color is cool. You're not going to get that color with anything else. It, it's going to work for me what I'm using it for. So let me go to the next one. We'll use these little people. And we're going to ink them up really fast. But now you see how it becomes a thing. Oh, it's a thing for sure. Because you just keep going. It's totally a thing. All right. I need to pick the colors for these. All right. They're pretty cool. I decided if I'm going down some of these rabbit trails, I'm going to get someone else. I'm, well, I was going to say addicted, but you know. <laughs> I'm bringing company. <laughs> bringing company. Thanks. Not everything should be a solo activity, right? We've definitely had some crazy rides this year. Yes, <laughs> we have. Crazy rides. It's been one whole year. Crazy rides. All right. Dropping it in. Here we go. I did like a uh, brown and gold color for them, and I inked them, and they're really pretty. And I have this die cut. Do I have a smaller one of them? Maybe. Oh no, I got lots of die cuts. Let's see. Uh-oh, Patty, have you tried getting a fish sinker lead maker? No, Linda, I don't even know what that is. Ah, oh, prosciutto, yummy, prosciutto, yum, yum, yum. I'm in. Um, hang tight. I just got a big bubble in this syringe. Hold on. Oh, come on. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, maybe I read, oh, never mind. I read that wrong. It's a bottle, not prosciutto. Never mind. Never mind. Prosciutto, like the salty him? Um, s sort of. We'll go with that, yeah. Salty, salty cake thing. It's so good. And it's sliced like paper thin. It's so good. And with good cheese. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to put these little things in it too. Awesome. All right. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a bottle too, Lisa. It sounds interesting. That's a leg wax. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I had my eyebrows waxed one time in my entire life. Never again. Um, every six weeks. Nope. No. Yep. Nope. Makes me feel way vulnerable. And nobody says, okay, on the count of three. They just, I mean, no, no, no. <laughs> well, you got to be comfortable with the lady who's ripping your face off. Well, like I said, I've had it done exactly one time. And she was like this three foot tall woman. And she was all like, wah, 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 wah. And I was like, oh my gosh, no, never again. Never again. I think I was hanging off the ceiling fixtures. Nope. But, you know, I freely admit I have control issues. So that could be part of my challenge. So it's probably entirely the whole issue. You think? Is that.
No, thank you. I've made it my whole life with my caterpillar eyebrows. I'm good. <laughs> this guy looks like somebody I used to date. He really does. Caterpillar eyebrows brought that to mind, did they? <laughs> Kinda. Kinda. Oh my gosh. So that's why we're friends. You like my caterpillar eyebrows because I remind you of some guy. <laughs> thanks for clearing it up for me. Thanks, thanks, pal. Oh, I got it now. Okay. He's hey, being cool. Uh, I promise you that is never going to happen ever, ever what? a Brazilian wax. Not in my lifetime. Nope. Live a little Salute to anyone else that thinks they, it's not, it'll never be any inactivity on my agenda. Never live a little. Nope. Oh, I've lived a lot without a Brazilian and I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh just do it you first uh, done it <laughs> you win <laughs> <laughs> nope uh, not happening only hurts the first time Whatever, no thing. You don't know what they expect, so you're like, "Oh God, it's gonna kill, it's gonna kill." Nope. Putting little beads in my. I almost didn't survive the the eyebrows, and you no, no. <clears throat> Can you imagine the vocabulary? I would probably kick the chick across the room. No. So, ma'am, excuse me. How did you wind up in jail today? Well. <laughs> Laying on this table, there was a little bit of wax involved. And the next thing I knew, this lady was going across the room. I can just see it now. No. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh my goodness. Ooh, that spoon's a little warmish. Yeah, it gets a little warmish. You might want to. Yeah. You know, I'll say. You might have to slow your roll. Slow my roll. All right, blowing up my flame until I get what I want. <laughs> exactly, Jennifer. Exactly. I could not agree anymore. <laughs> the police might understand it would they would probably yeah they'd be like so can we see i'd be like no because it would only be half done because you are exactly <laughs> First, i'd wind up with the towel with my be like, Sir. they'd be like prove it <laughs> yeah okay prove this buddy yeah <laughs> Do you think I'm putting my leg up again? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Whiny's at it down there. She's such a whiner. Oh, that's cool. That is flipping cool. Hey, Martha, how are you? Hi, Martha. Oh, my gosh. I have got to remember to turn this thing off on my laptop. She's so nosy. Don't say her name because she'll turn mine on. No, I'm not saying her name. Because then she just comes back again. It's so weird to me, the certain words that wake her up. Hmm. 
I know there's so many. I left a lot of doors wide open. I know that. It's okay. It's okay. We're all grown. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I went and looked at my analytics. Do you know? I'm doing nothing. You can switch off me. Okay. I can't write at the moment. I'm stirring. Um, 65 or 70% of my viewers are age 45 and older. No, 60, I forget now. I think it was 45 and older or 55 and older. So I feel quite confident there was no one under the age of 25, 20 or 25 that has ever even viewed my channel. So I couldn't even begin to tell you how happy that makes me. <laughs> I feel I like know where to even look for that or to then to even read that crap. It's so easy. It's so easy. It's on your channel. You just go into, well, it's in the one you don't like. It's in beta. Um, yeah, no thanks. And you just click analytics and you just scroll down and you just keep scrolling until you come to it. And it's like, it's like so black and white, easy to read. Yeah. I mean, it's not like trying to figure out some crazy yeah. chart, you know, it's just pretty straightforward. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, no idea. And it's no. like, you know, kind of, I don't know, it's just nice to know, <laughs> to know your audience, I guess. I think I'm close to having a 7,000 sub giveaway. Nice. What are you going to give it? I mean, what is somebody going to get? Ooh, I don't know. Do we all get something? Do all 7,000 of us get something? <laughs> Send me your addresses now. <laughs> <laughs> Does everybody yeah. get something? Everybody's gets. A, you get a car. You get a car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I have no idea. I don't want to know if we, you should, yeah, that would be kind of funny though. Can you imagine? You all 7,000 of you say, oh, uh -oh. I'm every one of you, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm, I think, I don't know. I don't, like, last time I looked, I was in the sixes. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think it was, I'm trying to remember the ages, it breaks it down. I think it was like 45 to 55, maybe. I'm, I can't remember. Can you guys tell I'm just guesstimating? Don't think, I, I mean, I don't really know what I'm talking about, like specifically. Um, but I think it was like 45 to 55 and then like 55 to something. And then there's like a 60s bracket and then there's like a 70s and over. I don't know, something like that. But everybody, I hang out with all the mature girls and I like that. I guess is what I'm trying to say. We're all of a certain maturity, which is nice. Oops. Interesting. Yeah, it is nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. Yeah. Let's see. Uh-oh, somebody's trying to pull all the weeds out of the garden. <laughs> <laughs> The bridge of Lorna's nose. What, what did you do to your nose, Lorna? What did I miss? Oh, my goodness. She must be laying down, playing with her phone. She dropped it on her face. That was probably not the smoothest move, I have to say. Gonna say probably not. 
Oh, Nikki's here. I should ask her. Nikki, do you have the one with the bees? Well, of course you do. I got it from you. How do you pour those stupid little bee legs? They're like ridiculously skinny. How does that work? Either that or none of my Mine are just all going to be flying with the legs tucked in. That's right. Wipe it out hot. <laughs> I don't think that's a question of smart. I think that might have been a question of your coordination, not intelligence. Just saying. Of course, I always thought I was pretty coordinated till recently. I'm beginning to rethink that. So you fell down them steps there, big girl? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it's so weird. I feel like I can't even say I fell down the stairs. I like fell on the stairs and bounced down. If I was going to be completely accurate, you know, I can't even say that I fell down the stairs. I feel like it's a little bit exaggerated. Just kind of landed on them. And the one time you think having a little bit of extra junk in the trunk would be to your benefit, absolutely not. Yeah. Right. These swirly ones are fun, but if you focus on them too much, you can get kind of confused pretty quickly. Holy cow. No fires yet, Jay. Jay just came in and was like looking. Hmm? It's wax. And then you punch this thing into it. Well, look. See that? Michael? Can you try? <laughs> He's like, can I try? Yes, you can try. Hang on one second. I got to mute for a minute. Okay. Which stamp you want to do? There's a bee, butterfly. Let's be a majestic butterfly. Let's be a majestic butterfly. Jaden is going to try the majestic butterfly. Okay. Majestic butterfly coming up. All right, you have to make sure it's straight so when you punch it i'm gonna put it just like this you're gonna put it right onto the wax like that okay got it mm -hmm. okay i'm back okay but we're gonna put a little cheesecloth on first because i like the cheesecloth and we're gonna put it up here i'm gonna take that with the spoon and as soon as i scoop it on there you get your majestic butterfly and punch. They can't see you. It's just some patty. He's all looking like, can they see me? <laughs> all right, you ready? Yeah. Hold, on, hold on, let me pour it first. Go right in the center of this splotch. Got your majestic butterfly. Go. Don't pull it up. Just let's punch it. There. Now leave it. It has to sit so it dries. Okay. There you go. You have done a majestic butterfly. <laughs> Does he feel majestic is what I want to know. How does it make you feel, Jay? Majestic. He said majestic. Awesome. Job well done. <laughs> majestic. He said, let's do the majestic butterfly. Let's just, shall we? All right, so we're going to grab a bunch of paper towels. This is time to clean out my pot here because I have mud. Oh, oh. Can I touch that? No, you can't touch that. Are you crazy? You want to burn yourself? Well, just I mean, once. Tell it, be honest, Jay. Say yes, just once. I've been, I've been burned by hot you. Yeah, this can't be any worse. No. No, 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 no. I don't even want to touch it. I can go to school and say I bruise my butt and I touch wax. <laughs> that was my winter vacation. 
my mom bruised my butt and she burned my fingers. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> hey, Rosemary. That's awesome. All right, do you want to see your, the reveal of your majestic butterfly? Okay, now you just crack it off there. We gotta hold it. Okay, go. Oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's a majestic, majestic butterfly. They're like, so Michelle is arguing with her other personalities. It said, fly, fly. <laughs> I'm you know what though Nikki I actually pour better out of this than I do the spouted cups that you sent me because it forces me to slow down a little and um because with the spout I feel like I and I tend to dump too quick I have noticed that about myself this it forces me I mean to keep it at a steady stream I seem to do better with this Okay, so I'm not doing anything at the moment except watching you. So I'm switching to you. I'm not, oh my goodness, I'm just not doing anything either. I'm like waiting for paint to dry over here. There, I just did a, a die cut doily and there's Jaden's majestic butterfly. But you see how it's all, it's just brown? Yeah. Because at the bottom of my, this is on an envelope. It's that, it was at the bottom of my, Pot, pot. So I had to wipe my pot out. I don't like. I don't like the way that it made that cheesecloth stick up funny, but it's okay. But um, if I, I think I'm gonna have to luster this one because it just looks muddy, right? And it's a one color. Didn't really do much. So I'm gonna get another one of those out and try another one. There you go. It's going to keep trying. This time I think I'm going to do purple and silver. Oh, Michelle, there's pink. Hello, pink everything. Where's Sherilyn? <laughs> everything. Jeez. Carrie, I was kind of that way. I started out super, super cautious with pouring it. And then I went into the... Why am I being like that? It kind of self levels and I just dumped it on. But then like some of these with the fill that works on the bigger ones and it'll kind of like, but I noticed I get um, bubbles like air holes when you do that. And um, these ones that are real scrolly, then you have to come in and clean all that out after it hardens when you pull it out and that's no fun. So I've discovered it's worth being a little more patient when I'm pouring it. Then I don't have to do the cleanup after. Kind of like when you're cooking, you know, do you take a minute to put wax or wax? Like people who put foil in their pan and then bake or whatever so they don't have to scrub the pot or pan out kind of situation. I live by parchment paper. Right? Seriously, I did. That's kind of how I, yeah, I feel like it's that two minutes of prep saves you an hour of cleanup kind of thing. Yes. I have some to choose from. I don't know what to choose. But that's also why I have, I've discovered I need to have the mold that I want to pour and then another one sitting right here so that if it starts curing on me, mm -hmm. I can just dump it real quick into a big open mold and then I haven't wasted it. That seems to be what works best for me. Nice. Okay. I think I've made up my mind. Maybe. Maybe. Mm. 
I'm gonna do pink. <laughs> She's like, I will never attempt it. I get it. It's like jelly plating. I promise you, I can watch all these girls jelly plate for hours and hours. I have no desire. I don't want a jelly plate. I don't want to do it. I just, I have no desire to do my own. I just want to watch you do it and let me know when you're ready to sell them. Cause I'll buy some. Cause I don't want to make them. Just do it. And part of it for me is I know that there's just, you just need a ton of space for it. And I'm not willing to no, it's just it no, it's not me. It's a good way to work. Uh, use up your book box, which I have left over from books you get. Oh, I would be willing to trade somebody. I will send you all the book blocks you want, and you send me back a few jelly plate pages. Anybody wants to take that up, just let me know. I'll send you all the book papers you need. Yep, I've never done it myself either. I'm right with you. Right. I have, yeah. I have like three enormous boxes full of book blocks at the moment. And they're not even ones to get like excited about. They're just plain Jane. Yeah, see, Sharon gets it. No, thank you. No jelly plating. You did hear purple Laurel a couple times, I bet. Then I said, what the heck? Why am I not using pink? Right? Yeah, it's it's just, I don't know. I just feel like it's, and I like, I like a lot of it, but the ones that I'm really drawn to are the ones that look like layers and layers of chippy paint. Those are the ones I'm really, really drawn to. And I can see myself getting totally aggravated when I couldn't pull that look off successfully. And then I would just be mad and put it all away and be like, I'm never doing this again. This is awful. Yeah, if I can't achieve some sort of success that I'm happy with, the first time or two, I won't ever try it again. And that's, that's just me. I've always been that way. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to clean cups here in a minute. Clean cups. Yep. <laughs> yeah. If you like, I don't know. It is cool though, Carrie, you might really enjoy it. Um, it seems to me like people who like it really like it, the, the doing it and the people who don't really don't. I feel like it's one of those, there is no gray area sort of things. And I might be wrong, but it's just what it seems like. For what? For what? What? For what? On the jelly plating. It seems like you either really like it or you really, the process of doing it. It ah. seems not not the finished product the the making process it seems like people who like it really like it and people who don't don't i like watching people who really like it because when they pull it up they're like oh yeah yeah exactly they get so excited that's it right there I feel like you guys have all watched me resin pour enough. It's not even fun unless I'm pulling them out of the molds. Oops. Oops. Can you tell we just wanted to come on and chat with you guys? <laughs> yeah. I need to look up. Hold on. Yeah, I was waiting for Rosemary to chime in over there. She loves her jelly plating and she's good at it. There you go, Jennifer. Do you jelly plate, Jennifer?
oh my goodness, if you jelly plate, I'm just going to put, when I fill your boxes and you have blank space, I'm just going to start putting stuff in there for you to jelly plate on. Instead of using packing stuff, I'll just start stuffing other stuff in there to fill the spaces. Because every now and then there's weird nooks and crannies. I could just roll up, roll them up into like tubes. Mm-hmm. True. And Nikki likes jelly plating. Nikki, do you do it live? You should do jelly plating live for us one night. We'll come watch. Yep. <laughs> Lorna, I have a lot of weird nooks and crannies. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So do I, but mine show up mostly in CAT scans. How did I get into making a tag? I even wasn't even on your agenda, was it? No. See? She's getting a majestic butterfly, I think. Awesome. I'm just playing. I'm just playing with stuff. I think all girls need a majestic butterfly at least once in their life. Bless you. Right? That was Amanda. There she goes again. <laughs> Bless you, Amanda. Oh, good night, Carrie. Merry Christmas. Be safe. Have night, fun. Carrie. Merry Christmas. In Luxembourg. Okay, let's crank up this pot. Not for children. <laughs> Oh, Jennifer, I bet. I hey. bet. Thanks, Linda. Well, Jennifer, when you're ready for more paper, you just let me know. When you just want some random paper, you let me know. Hey, I could use that random paper you were yapping about. You just tell me and I'll put it in there for sure. Pink and silver. Pink and silver. I think the song is silver and gold, though. Right? I don't know. What song? The Christmas song. Silver and gold. Yeah. Isn't right, you guys? There's a Christmas song. Yeah? It says silver and gold? Yeah. I can't sing. Like, I'm not even allowed to sing in the shower when there's nobody else at home. I sing so badly. So I'm not even going to attempt it. I can hear it playing in my head, though. Somebody back me up. Rechat quick. See if they're agreeing. I'm mixing. I can't. Sleigh bells ring. Yes, silver and gold, silver and gold, blah, blah, blah. Love it, Sharon. You don't know. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> I love blah, blah, blah. It's perfect. Yeah. When Patty gets her invoices for me, they say blah. Blah. <laughs> That's it. Blah. She's like, oh, my gosh. And where you can write a message that says blah, blah, blah. Yep. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, this is pretty already in the pot. Can I just yep. leave it in the pot? It looks pretty. We can kind of see it. It wants to focus every now and then. We can kind of see it. I've, I am zoomed all the way up on this Logitech thing, let me tell you. And it is telling me that I am not. So do, you have, do you have your capture open? I do. Go into your capture and zoom it. 
not Logitech, go into capture. Oh that's my God, I know that one's not open, hold on. Because that's what I have to use. Let me go in here. I have no camera functionality when streaming if I don't use capture. Capture. Yeah, the one with the big purple block. Yes. Yep, that's the one I'm hitting zoom on. Interesting. Mm-hmm. It's kind of weird. Yep, and it's like all the way up to zoom. Let me tell you. That's weird. It is. And we'll go to that. Keep saying camera not available. Which, duh, because it's on. Did you have it open before you came into StreamYard? The capture? Yeah. No. That's why, right there. If you go, oh, out, we're if you go out and open capture and then come back in, it'll function. It has to be gotcha. open. Yeah, it won't let you open. It won't function um, right. once you're in StreamYard if it's not already open. Wait, hold on, I'm bubbling. I can't do anything right now. That's fine. I'm bubbling. Pretty majestic butterfly. Here we come. Oh my gosh, that match is really good. All right, so go out, leave StreamYard. Cool. Leave StreamYard, um, close Logitech and um, just open and close capture and then reopen capture and then come back into StreamYard. All right, I'll be back. Okie dokie. So while she's gone doing that, I will take out some of these that have hardened and we'll see where she's at, where we're at. So there's those, these are pretty. These have a lot of texture in them, look at those. There it is. Those will be cute painted. There's two of those. So they should be mirror, yep, mirror image of those. Then this is the big Moroccan medallion. Ooh, look at that one. I like that. Wait, let me see. There it is. Look at all the look at all the detail on that one. And it's not thick. This one's really a nice thickness on this one. I like that. Like that one. What are you guys saying? Yeah, right? I like that one a lot, Nikki. Okay, then there's these. Oh, look at the clocks, you guys. Wait. I feel like I'm making shadows. Why am I making shadows? There it is. Like that a lot. There's this one. That one's cool. There it is. And these, all of these molds, um, I got over at Nikki's. I haven't looked around, but um, she's got them all if you guys are wanting molds. Whoop, whoop, there, where'd we go? There we go. And this one, I want to see this one too. Oh, yeah. This one's not quite cured. I rushed that one a little. Let me flatten it out quick. Okay. That one's pretty. I think these would be nice for covers because these are thinner. These are under a quarter of an inch thick. These would be really nice for covers. I got goobers on it. Hold on. I got goobers on my table. I'm making a mess. Okay. Which only matters because I don't want it to go from one thing to the to the next. There we go. Okay. So we've got those. Let's see. That one's not even dry yet. 
Are these dry? Not quite. Not quite. This little flower is going to be. Oh, this is that little flower I had the other night. Yep. Look at that. Look at all the layers in that little guy. So there's that one with its leaves. And I know I'm rushing this one. Oh, look, I need to put another drop in there. You guys, okay, let's see. So it's, there she is. There you go. Oh, my gosh, you're super clear right now. For five seconds. Right? For five seconds. Five seconds. If I guess I have a lilac um, envelope. I know. I like the clocks, and right? I put purple in my pot. With the silver. <laughs> the silver in the pink. Right? Okay, while she's clear, let's put it on her. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, so much better. So much better. I turned out my thing was on 1800 or whatever that was. The Yep, your resolution. Yeah. Yep. You were on like 1080, weren't you? Yeah. Yep. Which is wrong. That will help too. And I feel like it's different for everybody. You just got to figure out what works for your. Because if you're trying to tell it to put out more than what your internet can handle, then you're just creating a bigger problem too, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They're like, show us what you've done. <laughs> show oh, us while well, you're clear. I will. I can. That's when it started getting muddy. But it, it's a majestic butterfly that Jaden did with the doily on the back. You had, your, the, you had your capture open, right? Nope. Oh my gosh, you were supposed to open the capture before you came back in. It wouldn't let me come back in, so my camera wasn't available. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's fine. So the two ladies. I did wedded bliss here <laughs> with die cuts. I like it. And then I did my cool book that I'm gonna put downstairs. Nice. Love it. It's fun. It's interesting. Oh, and then here was my pink lady, shabby lady with die cuts and cheesecloth under. That's Great. Pink and silver. Pretty, pretty. Yeah, pretty neat. Now I think I'm going to use this ornery little boy. Because he looks fun. Or maybe not. I think I'll just leave it. Some leaves. Right. I'm just going to leave it some leaves. Yeah, it does make a difference too, right, Louise? And somebody was telling me, I don't know, some other tricks too that I need to look into. And if they work, then um, I'll be sharing those little tidbits with Michelle and see if it makes a difference. I don't know if it will or not. I want it to still open. I was like, ooh, she's quiet. She's focused. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. She's focused. All right, let me turn my heat thing back. Get cranked back up, girl. I'm ready for you. Which one? 
a pretty rose, a majestic butterfly. How about some leaves or some bees in the bush? A bee in the bush. That sounds so wrong. I just want to say that loud. Oh my gosh. From waxing to bees in the bush. O M G. Not for children. <laughs> Glad your analytics says it's just us ladies in here. Just us mature ladies. Yes. <laughs> us mature women. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at all that purple goodness there, Laurel. Oh, that's pretty. I can actually really scoop up some of this silver now. Oh, looky, looky. Oh, that's pretty. And now we're going to stick a bee in it. Like a bee in your bonnet? Like a bee in your bush. Or a bonnet. A bonnet. It's a bee in a bonnet. A bee in a bonnet. Okay. Oh, look how pretty that is in that paint. I could just sit here and just watch this. The colors. Yeah. They don't find the smell at all. <laughs> no, it doesn't smell bad. See what I mean? Everybody no, was like, but does it smell bad? And you're like, no, it's it doesn't smell like a candle, but it doesn't smell bad. No, it just it it's interesting. It just smells interesting. like melted crayons, kinda. Kinda. It's really pretty. It's pretty in the spoon, everything. I don't have 50 of the same things to, uh, what do you call, mass stamp like you did. Well, you know. I can't help it. You know. Kind of how I do. I can't help it. I want to see if it will pour it into here, but uh, none of these. I think this might be the time. That a metal button may come in handy because it's smaller. Let me see what I got for metal buttons. Definitely going to have to be one that has the grabber on the back. The grabber. You know what I mean. You know, like the. Where you sew it in at. Okay, the shank? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that. That sounds good. <laughs> Not yet, Rosemary. I'm working on it, though. The shank. Sure, we'll call it the shank. I've been a little spendy lately. I had to put myself in a little bit of a time out. I was getting Ooh, this See, of ones with shanks that have flowers on them. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Envelope. Oh my gosh! Yes, Lisa, that's what she said. Stick a bee in your bush. She sure did. <laughs> I did. She sure did. I'm going to try these. Wow, that was a pubescent moment. <laughs> I know, I just hit puberty again. <laughs> that one. I'm going to try all of these on a different piece of paper. Or on a piece of paper first before I put one into that filigree piece. Is that what you call that? The metal piece filigree? Sure. Sure. <laughs> I'm thinking, I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking because it's metal doesn't make it filigree, but okay. <laughs> but I, what, what's filigree? Filigree is the, it's like open work metal. It's like, it's like if you had a piece oh, of fabric no, and, you did the, no. and like you did the tatting around the edge, that would be filigree. Okay. Right? I like, no, no. way to explain it. This is just a them and make sure that because it's like, hmm, now that I said it out loud, is that right? I think that's right, right? Yes, no. 
I don't know. Oh, look, I even have a little bee. You do. You should stick it in your bush. <laughs> <laughs> I could do a little, a little bee. I'm going to try it. It's a plastic bee. He might get melted. Oh, my gosh. You get lost. <laughs> I just uh, stop. I mean, right now. So good, you guys. I'm being so good. Yeah. Hold like a basket of flowers on this button. Let's do that. I'm I gonna punch them out on a piece of paper. Nice segue there, by the way. Sure. Just, just not going there. All right, we'll try it. There, I'll try all those buttons. <laughs> but I should probably do it with like, I don't, like a dark color on a light piece of paper? Yes. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna grab a piece of paper. Okay. <laughs> Jody went and looked it up. Filigree is ornamental work of fine, and then in um, parentheses, typically gold or silver, wire formed into delicate tracery. Okay, that's not what I have. So, Look at that silver and purple. There you go. It's pretty, right? That is so pretty. Yep. The mixing color. Have you tried three colors yet? No, but I can. Do do um how many how many pellets are you using at a time? Um three. So do one of three different colors. Pick three different colors, one each, however you want to say okay, that. Well, I still have a little bit of purple in my it's pan. okay. Just just add um well, add, add one more purple and two other colors. All right. Cause then if that's what I discovered, and that's how I ended up putting in like I'd put in like eight or nine pellets at a time because then I could do two or three stamps at a time. Does that, you know what I mean? But what about black and white? With if it? you want to try it. You I'm going to. I think you should. I think I'm going to. The more I played with it, the less particular I was about what colors do or don't go together or the color wheel or all of that. I just started putting ones together. And when they mix, they're just, those are, and those are the ones that you guys were all like, oh my gosh, that color were the ones that I just was randomly and like literally just randomly putting colors in. And I'm using buttons, not mm -hmm. stamps. Woo! Double up that paper towel. Holy moly, does that spoon get hot? Yes, it does. Okay, waiting for it to melt. Melt! <laughs> Nikki's stuck on the floor. Help, I've gotten down and I can't get up. Get up, get up! Patty, did you order the mold that I messaged you? Yeah, no, I answered her. Oh, okay. Sure, how much I'm paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to mix one more and pour one more time, and then I'm going to let them all harden. And while they're hardening, I'm going to clean cups. So I'm going to be like super duper not exciting over here. So you're the show, just so you know. I'm making buttons here. I'm getting the most stuff that I can off my, out of the way. So you're using yeah. buttons as your stamps? Is that what you're doing? Yes. I have a oh. basket, like a flower basket. Yeah. I have a flower. Another cool looking flower. Then just like a metal button. Watch the metal get really hot and I'm going to be like, but, it'll be bad a, but you're just going to push it in and then you're going to let go. Do you know what I mean? Yep. And then I got a B. <laughs> so can we pretend the flower basket is a bush? 
Should I put the D in? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm bubbling over here. I'm bubbling. You're bubbling. I'm bubbling. You're about to bubble over. All right, so here comes one. Oh, that is wicked cool looking. Okay. Let's do. Better make quick, Michelle. Make a decision. We'll put that button in there. Okay. Then let me scoop from this side. Oh, these are wicked colors. Too cool. See, it kind of starts a thing, right? Yep. And we'll put that button in there. Now she will probably ended up down the rabbit trail. The white and the black are turning it gray, but it's yep. got a hint of that pretty metallic yep. silver in it. Yep. There's that one. I got enough for one more and then I have to warm some more up. When I started playing with the three colors, there was no going back. I think I'll use this one for the basket. Oh, there is no give with this. Once you put that down, you put it down. I was just trying to scoot it over a little more. Nope. You know? Nope. Nope, you're committed. Stop having it. Nope, you're committed. It's saying just do it. Yep. All right, so here's enough for one more. And that's just one solid color because now it's just mud at the bottom. So we'll put the bee right next to the bush. Yeah, you are totally committed when you put that down. All right, I need to put, add more color. I'm going to throw in some blue. <laughs> blue. Let's use some orange. Blue and orange. Okay. Let me wipe off my spoon. Are you cleaning cups? I am cleaning cups and I'm reading them in chat. <laughs> okay. You only have three more buttons that I picked up. I think this one's going to be really pretty. It's got a really pretty floor print on it. I hope it picks it up. Right. We'll just let them sit. And this, I like this one. It says old number seven brand. I think it was like from a pair of jeans or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Talking to myself. We're listening. We're listening to you. You guys can see it melt. There's blue and orange in there. With the gray left. That. These are the first two are really cool. They have, you can see the purple in them, but then it got like muddier along the way. Right. This is fun, Lang. I know. What a great interactive Christmas present for me. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. I opened up is my it just me or did she meet me? box. <laughs> is it just me or did it sound like she just took us back to kindergarten? What a great interactive activity. <laughs> it is. It's quite fun. Quite fun. Okay, just waiting on that. A little bit of orange right there to melt. This is bubbling right there. So somebody help me in the chat. Or maybe Michelle knows the answer and she can tell us out loud. Are you not supposed to say the name of the A, you know, the, the bowling alley? Are you not supposed to say the name of it out loud? What What's the deal there? Why does it always seem like it has to be in code? 
Never mm -hmm. ever did that. Because we always say Joann's and Hobby Lobby and Michael's and we say all these places and there's not a big, you know, it's got to be in code thing. So can we just say it? I say it. Okay. It's AliExpress, Lorna. Nikki's talking about AliExpress. Whoops. Okay. Well, I just made that mud. It's okay. And now it is like the sage green color. Right. So orange and blue make sage green. Yes. All right. So let's brighten it up with a little bit of red. Like Christmas. Because I only have two more buttons to do. I don't know if there's a rule saying it or not. I don't really. Well, it's a little late now because I already did. It is what it is. Some people get this. Uh, I get stuff from there. I think it's fun. Well, Diesel just came home. They took the dogs outside about 20 minutes ago, and he decided to go spread some holiday cheer, evidently. You were bad. So you're going to hear him getting scolded. Oh, he was bad. bad. He was bad. So don't give me kisses. You were bad. No kisses for you. You are bad. <laughs> That's what he said. Don't give me kisses. You are bad. Mm -hmm. He's so funny. And it doesn't sound like a very aggressive scolding, but I can promise you, he is down, cowering, tail tucked, ears down, and he's giving you the saddest puppy dog eyes. You'd think that he got beat when you, all you have to do is tell him he was bad, and he acts like you're beating him. He knows. Feelings. Mm hmm He's he just cracks me up. He's one of those there would just never be any need to swat him. It just would be such overkill for discipline for him. Okay, let me get the buttons out. Did I melt the buttons in there? Oh my goodness. I might have to pick up the paper. Oh, interesting. Oh my gosh, the chat has froze. Did we put you all to sleep? Nobody has said anything for like a half an hour. I'm just kidding. It hasn't been a half an hour, but. Interesting. Yep, we've put them all to sleep. It's official. We've put them all to sleep. Ooh, that was really good. good. They're all nicely tucked in. Now we can run amok, Michelle. That one? <laughs> you can get them out. Uh, yeah, some the of them are going to be uh, Aren't they fun? You that better get work. your buttons out, Lisa. Michelle tried it. It's a hit. The one with like the rays, though, Lisa. Like this has a raised tip. All it did was make a little crater in there. That is flipping cool. Look at the B. Pretty. B was the best. Yeah, it was. And then the basket of flowers. So we do have a bee in a bush. Awesome. And then there's a ro that rose colored one. Then there's the metal one. And then there's that cool, like, three-dimensional flower. That's not what it cool. Yep, I like that. That's cool. Oh, those look so cool. Look at the basket. You can even see the handle. Nice. Interesting. Interesting, she says. Interesting. Here we go. Cups are clean. Who I am smoking over here. It, we know. Seriously. <laughs> that we one. are well aware, let me tell you. Woo, hot button without the pegs. Yep. Yay. 
Yeah, it's amazing how much heat transfers them through them actually. Yep, I'm gonna have to clean my pot because now it's like muddy. Because I thought I was gonna be super smart and not put all my seals on the wooden handles. They get a little warm. Yeah. Okay. Not to say I'm not right. still me because I'm just going to clean up now. Okay. I'm just because my un unloading. Pot. Just unloading over here. So these these oh, are nice. I like these. I like those. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that one. The dimension on these just gets me every time. There we go. Wow. Those are pretty. Yeah. Ooh, yes, please. Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, a lot of these that I'm doing wow. tonight, yeah, a lot of these that I'm doing tonight are the ones that I'm super excited to take to market for um, the furniture people. I think they will be pretty excited about these. Yep. This one's not quite dry. I can't, I shouldn't have popped it out yet. I had to fill in a few places on that one. It's a little totally sending you a mold of that secretary piece. Okay. I think it'll work. Will definitely work. That one. Ooh, that's a little filigrees. Or fleur de lis. Sorry, not filigrees. Fleur de lis. Fleur de lis. Well, those are nice too. Look at those. Oh my. And a tiny little fleur de lis. Everybody's loving them. Can't wait to see them on furniture. I know, right? Jennifer, super Jennifer Jane loves these for me. Yeah. <laughs> see, now that's oh, the piece. I so over poured. This one and this one, I totally over poured. They should, you should see how you can see the blue through the center there of my glove. That's how I told, and I didn't realize it till I had them. That's this one should be like that too. It should be all the Linda, you track mine, Linda. She says they look like doilies. They do look like doilies, Linda. I agree. <laughs> one track mine. <laughs> okay, there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> oh, I like this too. Look at this. Whoop, camera. There it is. Whoa. Wow. Right? It looks like an elf. Kind of. On one end. Right? Doesn't it? Kind of. On the end. And then more of the wings that are not dry yet. Yeah, they're not dry. They feel like they should be. There they go. The wings. I like them. Ooh, and another one. So, and then here's, you know, when the basket I'm refilling. These are ones that we put. Those are from before. These are ones from tonight. All of these. That are now hard. Nice. Yeah, it just doesn't. And I was like just farting around, not like in a rush. So if any of you are like wondering about, you know, um, the expense of it, this these are like a little less than half full. And I started out with these full. And I think these are what they call the 32 ounce because you get 16 of each bottle, 16 ounces in each bottle. But I've poured 
all of this on the table, all of this tonight with just a little more than 16 ounces of each. Well, a little more than eight ounces of each one is what. And in less than two and a half hours too. Well, and playing around. I wasn't being serious about it. If I was sitting here by myself with Netflix going, I would have double this amount done because I would, you know, mix them up and pour them and not be trying to talk and read chat and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, just so you guys know, you really do get a lot, you know, and it depends. I mean, like if you're going to pour these, you're not going to get all these little pieces. You would get more of these. But so, I mean, it can be a little bit deceiving, but the thickness matters and, you know, the overall size of them and the more like the more carved detailing they have, they're generally a little bit thicker. I'm finding the overall mold is a little bit thicker usually. Not always, but usually. So like this one would be a little bit thicker and this one uses more resin. I mean, clearly, you know, so a lot of it depends on what size mold you're pouring, how far, how many pieces you're going to get for your resin too. <sighs> I know, right? Exactly. <laughs> Jennifer. So, but anywho, before we get totally boring and droning on and on and on and on. <laughs> I Ooh, think you, <laughs> oh, and I'm taking a load to the post office tomorrow. So there'll be a whole bunch of orders going out tomorrow, just so everybody knows. And um, you're taking a load. I am. Watch out for bees in the bush. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, and with that, a Merry Christmas now. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm coming. I may come on Wednesday evening. We'll see. We'll just kind of see. We'll play. We'll just kind of roll with that one. Um, if you guys are kind of interested in it, let me know. Or if somebody else is going on, let me know and we'll all go hang out there. Um, and I may even decide, who knows, some random time during the day, too. Because um, like I said, it's just going to be it's going to be a weird day here because usually it's, you know, a house full of people and we're doing our Christmas on Saturday. So Wednesday, I'm going to be in like a weird state of flux or something. So we'll see. Um, and so then that's going to leave Thursday kind of up in the air. We'll see. We'll decide later on Thursday. Probably plan on it, but we'll see how it goes. I'll be eating some ham on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, you got a big family thing, right? Yep, at the daddy -o's. Going to the daddy -o's. Nice. Yep. Awesome. Cool, Lisa. Oh, and Nikki did her, her Christmas last Saturday. Nice. I'm going to take all right ladies look for me sometime wednesday probably I, i'm kind of thinking i want to do it so just kind of look for me then oh the number seven would look so cool but since i stamped it down it's backwards uh-oh <laughs> yeah. so now it's an l <laughs> like Michelle needed to stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Merry Christmas to everybody that we don't see before Wednesday. Um, I'll be back Wednesday sometime, and Michelle and I will probably be here Thursday. Okay? Hey guys. All Merry right. Christmas, ladies. Everybody be safe and have, have enjoy your enjoy your holiday. And we're just going to talk until it ends because I think the silence is weird. So I'm okay.